Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Savings Challenge Sunday. I have a few new games. I have $135 I'm working with today, and I'm excited to get into the fun. So let's get going. So first up today, I want to play, and I haven't pulled anything out today. I had to do a cash condensing, but I did go through my binder this week and pull and kind of put things in order of the way that I would like to play them. Um, and I haven't been using my spinner lately because I want to build up um, some specific things instead of just randomly doing it. So here is my little froggy game. And when I added onto the added these up, um, I'm pretty close to finishing this, but I'm not in a hurry. I don't have any major things going on. This is going towards the holiday binder. So I'll play it a couple times and then we'll just see where we are. All right. Four. Yes. I want to use one of these markers. No. I am going to... Just put a little color on them like usual and come back and color them off camera. So four dollars. Let's roll again. Six. Let's roll. Nine. Okay. So I'm gonna put one dollar back and get a 10 and that's going to be 13 going into this one for right now maybe i'll come back and do that one again plus 13 going into this one which brings it to 54 dollars <throat> and we only have three more maybe next time i play this i will just make a point to finish it so 10, there's some 10s, I didn't even count, look in this binder, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, $54 in here so far, yay. If you hear the jingling, that is my cat playing with her toys she's loud today. all right next up oh cats i'm playing this one for my fun binder 10 i rolled 10 last time 11 let's do this one and I'm going to stop because, like I said with the other one, there's not a rush to fill these. I took a bunch of money out of binders this week because, like I've been predicting, I had to buy a new tire. And so I emptied the car binder totally. And <clears throat> then I had a couple of other small expenses that came up and... A friend came into town. We just spent a little money. So, you know, building these back up um, is fun and exciting. But, you know, I'm not in a rush to build them. Let's see what's next. Okay, this is a new one. So, with this game, it's called Hole in One. Um... This is a spin on a game that we used to play as kids. So the whole idea is that you are trying to roll doubles and you're counting to see how many times you have to roll to get the doubles. So you're not necessarily adding the dice, just counting the number of times it takes you to roll to get a double. So like here, I rolled one time, got a double. I rolled again one time. Get a double. No double there. That's one. 
no double two no three four so on my fourth row i got a double one row got a double one i got a double so then i add all this up four five six seven eight so that's eight dollars on that time around five six seven eight and let's play one more time one two so on my second time i got a double two one two three four five six the sixth time i got a double one two three four four five times so on the fifth time i got a double okay one got two fours one all right so this one is got a whole lot more this time 12 15 right yes 15 so in all going into this one is 23 dollars i'm gonna write even though I don't have to write that out there, but I will. So today, going into this game, this new game, is $23. This is not the fifth month, it's the sixth month. $23 and hole in one. And this one, if it's not already on my Ko-Fi shop, it will be soon. Um, I think it probably already is there. All right, next up is Saveopoly. I am making one more trip around this board for Jeremy's computer. And then I think I'm going to start with my new version of Saveopoly, which is the Sweet Bears edition. I also have a Monsters edition of that, but I think I'm going to go with this one um, for the next go round. So let's roll six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Twenty dollars, and I'm out for Saveopoly. <laughs> That's all I can do for that one today. All right, so that puts another $20 towards Jeremy's computer, plus $20 today, which brings that to $67 in this one. And that's it for Saveopoly. Next up, Bowling for Bucks. I change this game up because playing it six times and then taking the money out seemed to be like a quick turnaround even though I like the quick turnaround on some things um but I did want to save up a little more money so I did change this one and I added in a few more options so I'm going to finish this one up and then I think I'll start this one so rather than playing it six times, now you play it 12 times before changing it out. So, ooh, big money this time. Six, five, two, and that's 13. And why did I do that? Six two and one and that is nine so going into this one is going to be twenty two three four five six seven eight 
two dollars. I was really only going to play that one time. Twenty-two dollars going into bowling for bucks. Is an even sixty-five. Yeah. So today. We should have $65 in here. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, one, two, three, four, five. Sixty-five dollars going towards our month ahead binder. <clears throat> and this one has already been changed on the Ko-Fi to include that in a new envelope. So if you have already purchased it, you can go back and just re-download it. It's the same one. I think most people, when I updated it, I sent you a message and I updated it with you personally. All right. Another new game for this week. This one is called Going Quackers, and it is very similar to the shut the box game except the stakes are a little higher because it goes all the way to 12 instead of stopping at nine so um plays the same way you roll the dice and you color in the number or the combination that makes the number okay <clears throat> i rolled a four ten i'm gonna get rid of that ten Eight, seven, seven, I can do a six and a one. Oh no, six, and I can't do a six, so I have what left. 23 31 Ooh, ouch that hurts $39 and that's $39 going towards Jared's car and the only reason that I'm doing it is because that's what it's for because I would take the IOU it's taking almost all of my money Taking all my money. Okay. $39 is going in that one. I'm just going to make it an even 40. Did I not have an envelope? Yeah. Even $40 is going to go into this one today. Ouch. That one hurts. That hurt. Now, another way that I could have done this is I could have just counted up the ducks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and saved six dollars. But because this is for Jared's car, I'll be a good sport about it. Y'all, I am really rolling in the new games this week. So this one is called Mariposas. Um, and it is the Spanish word for butterflies. And I just think this is so pretty. I saw this butterfly and I was like, I really want to put that in a game. And so this one plays just like a typical board game. Um, you roll the dice, you move that number of spaces and save the amount. If you land on a feather or a butterfly, you save $5 automatically. So let's start there i'm just gonna roll one six one two three four five six i only have six dollars so <laughs> so i will color this one that pretty pink and six again one two three four five six perfect 
takes my six dollars and i will stop there well that is it guys i am out of money for this savings challenge sunday i introduced a few new games let's see the hole in one and the mariposas game quackers and um going quackers and then the update of the bowling game and saveopoly so there is a lot going on in this video today so i thank you for hanging in there with me um I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and join me on this savings journey. Um, I think I say this every week. I am on a mission this year to save, to change how I look at my spending and savings habits. And already it has made a huge difference. I know that I've been saying for about two or three weeks now, my tire is going to go. My tire is going to go. No one can find anything wrong with this tire but I knew that there was something wrong with the tire. I knew it. No one else could find anything wrong with it. But on Thursday, the tire just gave out on me and um, I took it to a tire shop instead of to the dealership. And the tire shop, the guy goes, nope, you need a new tire. And so thankfully I had the money in my car binder to be able to pull all of that and pay cash for it or just pay for it without having to really impact my budget or, you know, be miserable because I had to buy a new tire and I'm looking at probably having to buy another new tire pretty soon. So they went ahead and ordered it for me. So that is just peace of mind rather than worrying about another tire for a few more weeks. So it's it's great to be able to have this money to not be living paycheck to paycheck because otherwise I probably would have just been parked at home until I got paid mid-month to be able to go and buy a tire. And so it's really nice to have that peace of mind to know that money was set aside for that purpose with the knowledge that things in life happen. And planning for those things in small increments has been a lifesaver for us. And I'm already seeing the benefits of doing this type of thing. So with that said, I hope that you will join me on Wednesday for many savings challenges. If you watch my little short video um, earlier today when I did my cash condensing, you would have seen that there were a lot of small bills in that mini binder. And I think I'm, I'm going to be finishing up. I know the last couple weeks I've finished up a mini. I think I'll be finishing up a couple more this week. So very exciting to know that that money will probably be coming into play next week for savings challenges. So with that said, guys, have a great weekend. Hope to see you back on Wednesday. Thank you so much for tuning into my videos. Have a great weekend. Bye.